Hello there, Jedi, Sith, or even potatoes. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. I don't know if I changed my intro or not. Um, like I said last episode, I'm kind of out of it. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving. But the water doesn't move. Rose, one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? I'm supposed to go in, yeah. I think I am so fall asleep. Apologies. Oh boy, my timer did not start, so that's fun. Okay, sorry for the wait. Not the greatest idea to keep playing. Oh, okay, so it does drop. Oh, I have to keep that froze while I do it. Good, so I gotta stop yelling them. Changed for the ones around it. 
Hmm. Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look. Cut this video short. All right, we are back in it, and I am more awake, I believe. Hopefully. Hey, did that geyser up there just get stronger? When you froze the geyser, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. Good job, Ferris. I do apologize for my uh, for the first beginning of this video. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. I cannot tell where a boat can land. trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Hmm. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. How shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. What? 
get behind it. But how? <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it draw. I'm dumb. Hey, father, up there. <laughs> Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Chain we can pull up there. You can uncover that geyser from here. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. My controllers have been acting up. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Trying to see if there's any other secrets out here. Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. 
I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Life's hope tears in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be on to something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidhavilia, brothers. Hey, towards! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. It only sounded an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, can we talk to you for... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sentry! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <clears throat> Thank you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouth. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. Whew. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? Behind you! Incoming! Sterling. 
Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? <laughs> Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Well, that's all we have for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Again, apologies for the beginning section. Uh, that was like at 1 to 2 in the morning. But I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, snap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure that bell icon's left so you're notified whenever I upload.